most small rural communities in the San Joaquin Valley get their water from under the ground. This groundwater is stored in aquifers. Since groundwater has historically been a clean source of water, many communities pump groundwater to the surface and send it directly to houses with only very minimal treatment. Groundwater should be a safe place to keep water clean, but some pollutants can seep deep into the ground, contaminating people's wells. Some groundwater contamination occurs naturally, but much of the drinking water contamination in the San Joaquin Valley comes from the massive amount of manure and liquid waste generated from the giant dairy facilities in the region, the excess fertilizer applied to crops, and harmful pesticide residues. Regardless of the source, these man-made and naturally occurring contaminants seep deep into the groundwater and make the water unsafe to drink. In drought years, and with the introduction of more permanent and water-demanding crops, this water contamination can worsen, and people can run out of water entirely. Thousands of domestic wells can run dry as new, deeper agricultural wells pumping around the clock lower the water table, which is also no longer being replenished by normal rain and surface water irrigation. With drought expected to become increasingly common in the West due to climate change, we'll continue to see water quality and supply challenges long into the future if we do not act now. Drought has been a hot topic recently, but drinking water contamination has been a problem for decades and the health and economic costs of California's drinking water crisis hit communities hard. The drinking water crisis has multiple causes that have come together after decades of neglect to create one toxic cocktail that no one should have to drink if they have water at all. Unsafe tap water can be found in nearly every county in California but more than half of the communities with unsafe water are found in the San Joaquin Valley alone. This crisis disproportionately impacts low-income Latino farm workers and their families, 